on the internet i'm joined as always by gary who's binary gary on the internet and allison who's allison plus on the internet i'm the only one that doesn't have my real name in my uh twitter handle uh because i'm special uh it's another thursday we made it through another your week. middle name is not sequence no no sequence is no part of my name he's also I assuming our, my, uh... our real names are gary and allison <laughs> Well, I we do. Uh, I do refer let me to you as Allison and Gary. So, I mean, it's true. You could be, you know, Tabitha and uh, Murdoch. Murdoch. <laughs> wow, what a pull! <laughs> <laughs> I think when I make up names, Murdoch is not one that makes it in my top twenty. That's I don't nice... know where Murdoch came from, honestly. It just, uh, I, 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 I guess I'm practiced at at generating names in my head from from D and D. Perhaps I don't know. Murdoch That's, is not a name I would come up with that for either, for that either. Probably. It's very it's very Canadian. <laughs> is it? There's a sh- there's a show called Murdoch Mysteries. Wow. <laughs> Which is immediately what I thought you were referencing. <laughs> um, it's not very good, unfortunately. I, but it's a very long running show that's filmed around Toronto. <laughs> I wasn't aware that Murdoch was a was a Canadian thing. Is it? Well, is I, it like a? Is it real murder mysteries or is it like a fictional show? No, it's fictional. Oh, like because if it's long running, and like we have enough <laughs> content like, to continue doing it, like just crimes. No, yeah, um, <laughs> I think it's on the CBC. I don't really know to be honest. Um, it might be on Netflix actually. Isn't, isn't everything on the CBC? Isn't the CBC kind of like the BBC? Like just it's you have one station that has all the things. Yeah, right, I mean, the C like, stands for Canadian, not British. When in, when in doubt, go to the CBC. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, What's the equivalent of that in the states? When in doubt, like turn PBS? off media. But I mean, PBS has been so gutted over the last yeah, well, few years. If you had donated during that telethon, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that would have made I all the difference. About your that, your honestly. donation, eighteen dollars or whatever. <laughs> I think Canada also has the whole Canadian content thing going on as far yeah. as broadcasting rules. Yeah. So I think but that's something. To- they have to do like that's just like laws around broadcasting canadian stuff yeah on like, radio. u.s policy is to uh just like make the country such a shithole no one wants to come here so yeah it won't have to be from the states cool <laughs> well on our way well that's why way. there's a lot more canadian music on radio here um it's because there has to be music is, on radio in who the is states that too, because it's better <laughs> Too many questions. One at a time, please. I was just being snarky and Canadian. I know. <laughs> I, was... I wanted you to repeat it, though. <laughs> oh, ooh. 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 <laughs> How about that? Who boot that? Yeah. Okay. How does this show work? Uh, this show generally works wherein uh, <laughs> I Allison, don't know. Uh, brings us a topic, uh, something that we've never heard before, probably, uh, because Allison is, is far more worldly than Gary and I. Uh, and uh, she brings us a, 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 a topic of something that we have not discussed previously. And Gary and I have to figure out or discover or uncover or hypothesize what the uh, topic is about having not uh, had a previous conversation about it. Also, we talk about food. I mean, that's, that's, that's the, sort of the baseline, but that's never where it stays. It sort of veers off over here, goes over here. Yeah. Food, space, weather. <laughs> there is something, there's something that, that uh, I saw this morning, and I was going to make a snarky comment about it in, in Slack. And then I didn't because I said I, th- I thought to myself I should keep all my snarky comments for the show, and now I've totally forgotten it. Oh, I thought you were going to say I was going to keep to myself because I don't want the uh, binary jazz HR department to speak to me. So, <laughs> no, I'm an asshole. Who is the HR department? 
Oh, I actually think it's Chris. Oh, yeah, no. that's what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll take it. Sure it's Chris. <laughs> yep. Well, you've kept us in line so far. Have I? Your iron fist. Yeah. Yeah. I'm beautiful for my topic. job on the daily. What's today's topic? <laughs> today's topic is Aqualine. Uh. <laughs> That's that Jethro Tull song, right? Aqualine? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> la, 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 la. It goes like that. That's how it goes. La, 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 la. Aqualine. <laughs> I think that's it. I think we're, uh, yeah, we're mic done drop, for the day. <laughs> Show ends. Play, play outro music. Play us out, Jethro. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh <laughs> it's, it's a uh should i spell it probably that's yeah. probably the only way to save this right now <laughs> Did you see the mug that chris got me oh play of the yeah. year he didn't actually get me this but i figured since he's hr it made sense Oh, let me see. Yeah, that, that's that's Gary's bribery attempt right there. Is, just a mug. <laughs> is, is saying saying that I got him that uh, to appease HR. Would well, you ever want to be HR? Your your uh, your dad was HR, right? Was in uh, HR Yeah, world. he was, yeah. and I don't know. Okay. Um, Sorry, we were going to spell the word. I didn't mean to totally <laughs> be us. I, this is Fine. like A Q U A L I N E. Close. It's A Q U I L I N E. So it's not aqua line. A Q U A I? I L I N E. Oh, not aqua line. Aquiline. Okay. Oh. So it's, so not, like, so so it's not like aqua line in the same way that aqua lung is aqua lung. No, 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 no. <laughs> um it's maybe that's what i'll do for a topic next is just be like i'm gonna hum a song and you have to <laughs> guess the song <laughs> fair it, it's a uh, it, it has to do with um damn i know this word yep and i can't dig all the crap out of my brain to get to it. Um, it's, it's an adjective. Oh. I always appreciate Gary's actual seriousness and remember and knowing what the topic is. <laughs> yeah, it's like right it, it's not right there. I I know that I knew it at some point and maybe i don't anymore and when i hear it again i'm gonna be like oh yeah but damn damn if i can't get it right now it's a word that i um it's something that i was reading that's where i sourced it from doesn't it uh isn't it mean like uh kind of like aerodynamic like aqualine is just sort of a it's like a shape it's a particular description of a shape of something the shape of something. The shape. That's my my <laughs> debut film. The shape. The shape of, of something. something. <laughs> it's a bit nebulous, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> um, I don't know why I felt the need to give like a review of the title. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's a romance, but <laughs> we're not really sure who the uh, the the other uh, protagonist is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just out there. It's something. <sighs> about being in love with yourself shape of something the shape of something <laughs> that seems like an accurate description of being in love with yourself though a bit nebulous na 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 i this is what I, it's I like when you go on with a bad definition because i'm so close to getting the real definition and i it's not helpful i'm sorry you're on your own chris 
but Chris is basically like on a road trip with the radio broken and yeah. he's just <laughs> <laughs> just trying to fill fill with music. I don't know if the radio's necessarily broken or if he's just so far out there's no signal. Right. So far out. I mean, either either of those things is is uh, fair. That's what that's what the iPod is for, honestly. This is true. Do you still own an iPod? Yeah, we have a new model iPod. Nice. Uh, because the other one broke. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so we got a new one. Um, so yeah, we've we've. Um, uh, we we keep an iPod because that is that is what we do in the car, um, and it ha- holds all of our uh, audiobooks and so. Hmm. I uh, do not own an iPod. I just use my phone. That's it. Yeah. I know yeah. I went up at the end like I was like going to say something else, but I wasn't. I just not communicating <laughs> very effectively. Everything is everything is going poorly right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I drive, uh, yeah. we, we can also do Bluetooth in the car too. But um, but uh, mm. the iPod is where we keep all the audiobooks. It's where the audiobooks live. And the oh, kids, that makes the kids sense. And then the also audiobooks. like as a shared device that makes. Yep. Sense. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and and if I drive, I'll put on Spotify or I'll put on whatever, and if. If Erin drives, sometimes uh, if she doesn't have the iPod, she'll put on Spotify, but most of the time she'll not, and I usually need to put something on. Or you'll just go, or I'll go, na 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 na, and sing Aqualine. uh, (laughs) Just on repeat for hours. It's the one. (laughs) This will be the sole episode we get pulled from. uh... YouTube for uh, copyright infringement. We create a playlist. <laughs> yeah, right, just... right. <laughs> a playlist on YouTube just with repeats, various covers. <laughs> <laughs> Not a song people cover. So, so there's there's the, there's Aqualon, na 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 na, na and then we also have uh, you ought to know, which goes na 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 na, na and <laughs> so. so. <laughs> Um, let's see what other Canadian, uh, what Canadian music can I think of? I don't know. Is there, there's that one song goes na 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 na. Oh, that's great. <laughs> let's go to the mall. Okay, I know that one. That's not a real song though. I'm sorry, Gary. I'm sorry. No, am it's not, fine. It's all right. Am I, am it's... I not entertaining enough? <laughs> You're still thinking about the topic. No, he's still, still thinking about whatever the real meaning is. Topic. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm really chewing hard on it. It's pondering. It's not worth it. I'll be, up to, I'll be honest. The, the real meaning, it's not worth it. It's no petrichor. Yeah. <laughs> well, a few things are. Things are. We have had um, a bit of rain recently here. Oh, let me back up. Charlotte watches Peppa Pig, which is a British show. Yes. And so... Like, it's dangerous to watch Peppa Pig. Yeah, well, Katie went through a phase where she had a British accent as a kid, and Charlotte is doing the same, uh, which is fantastic. Um, but also, I only in certain words, but still it's funny. Um, but also on Peppa Pig, like, there's an episode where somebody says something, and they're like, they're picking up someone, like, it's not funny. The person at the end says, it's a bit funny. So that's become part of Charlotte's. Like, it's a bit or, funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. So, like, that's a good yeah. phrase. That's a good phrase to pick up. Oh, no, not if you're two and a half. It is <laughs> freaking maddening. So she's like, you know, like at dinner, she's like doing something like stop. And she goes, ha! Charlotte, it's not funny. It's a bit funny. And that is a bit <laughs> maddening. And so yesterday we were, uh, we were, oh, she's been, you know, like as kids do, she's been in this phase where she's like, she wants mom to do everything. She just wants dad to put her to bed or put her pajamas on or brush her hair or any of that kind of stuff. So fine, whatever. So Ronda says, "We've never left that phase." Yeah, <laughs> so I mean, it comes in years. <laughs> it ebbs and flows. Um, so last night, Rhonda says to her, "There's nothing wrong with Daddy," and she said it, and I was like, "Oh my God, is Charlotte going to be like? There's a bit wrong with Daddy." <laughs> <It's> a bit <laughs> wrong. She didn't. 
She didn't, but in my head it happened, and I've been laughing about it ever since. <laughs> That's a bit wrong with Daddy. That's a bit wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so it, anyway, it's been rain, uh, it's been a bit rainy here, and uh, um, the mosquitoes are uh, <clears throat> amazing creatures. <laughs> I mean, I walk outside with a dog in the evening when they're very active, and I will come inside with like nine or ten mosquito bites on my feet, having been outside for. I mean, the time it takes the dog to walk to a tree and pee and walk in, so three seconds. Yeah, um, I'm uh, I'm uh, recovering from from some mosquito bites. Uh, they've just, as of like yesterday, stopped bugging the shit out of me, uh, and that's from going near uh, sort of a man-made lake uh, at a there's a there's a couple bird refuges, and this was by one of the bird refuges. Refuges, refuges. I don't know what's the plural of refuge. Anyway, uh, one of those, and uh, yeah, uh, when was it? Saturday, I think. And like, it's weird for me. Like, I don't notice them when they happen. Usually, I just notice that there's like something flying around me and probably sticking on me, and then I won't notice it the day after. But like day two they start to flare up and get really horrible. And then like the last time I got super bit uh, was uh, for the fourth, where we were also by like a body of water um, and watching the fireworks. Uh, and I got eaten alive. Uh, that was horrible and uh, lasted like a week. It was mm. awful. Uh, and they just get really, really big and nasty. And I don't like, I don't remember that being a thing like 10 years ago for me. I could go somewhere where that had mosquitoes and not get a single bite or maybe a one that didn't really bother me. And I don't know if it's like an age thing or of a diet thing or what it is, but there's I told you, have I told you my mosquito story? No. What is your mosquito story? Oh, I feel like this is a good one for the archives. (laughs) 10,000 years when someone's culling through old podcasts or whatever. Um, <clears throat> Isn't it funny how they pronounce the word mosquito? Um, uh, yeah, so I get them on my feet, but they go away pretty quickly. Like I go out in sandals or whatever in the legs. When I is, was in uh, Scouts back when I was in like probably like sophomore in high school, um, we went camping and we were doing we were like fishing. And after fishing all day, I'm like, I need to take a shower because I smell bad. So I must have smelled really bad at the sophomore in high school. Was like I smell bad, you know. <laughs> so I grabbed my towel and like some underwear and went over to the shower. And as I was in the shower, I guess I knocked my underwear off the edge of the shower and it fell into a pile of sand spurs. So it's dark. I go to put my underwear on and it's like there's sand spurs. I'm like, oh crap, well I can't put these on. So I pick my towel and I walk back to my tent. And so I'm sitting in my tent with the flap open, picking sand spurs off and throwing them around the corner of the tent. Not realizing the mosquitoes are just ravishing my legs. So I finally get my underwear clean of sand spurs and on and, uh, uh, and my legs were just, you know, like I, oh, I got a lot of mosquito bites. You know, I slept the next day was Sunday. You know, we finished, went back home. By Monday, like my legs were swollen and I was actually physically ill, like throwing up and stuff from all the mosquito bites mm. I got. So I missed like two or three days of school. Um, but now when I get mosquito bites, like they bother me for 10 or 15 minutes and that's it. So that's the mosquito story. That's it. So, so maybe uh, you developed some sort of like weird immunity. I think that my body's just like, oh, we've been through this, whatever. <laughs> your body's like we've seen worse yeah yeah, no, yeah that makes sense getting so getting having mosquito bites bad enough that you uh that you start throwing up uh after that point i think your body is just like fuck this just no <laughs> and i'm sure no that that's probably not like i don't know if that's actually a thing that can happen like can you get enough mosquito bites that you get physically ill maybe maybe not i don't know but um well, i mean but i was sure i, was I mean it happened so we'll go with yes yeah I mean, maybe it was the raw fish. That it I could just, have been. I mean, it could have been food poisoning too. Yeah. But, <laughs> but well, definitely. I just remember my legs mosquitoes. like. Oh, I mean, it was like mosquito bites on top of mosquito bites. Like they were overlapping. They were so nasty. Mm. Yeah, that sounds so, awful. Everybody here in my house, like when they get bit outside, like they itch for days. I'm like, like I got one while we're on this call. It'll be gone in 30 minutes. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, yeah. So, so mosquitoes. It's not a thing that, that I grew up uh, experiencing uh, in the Bay Area because they don't exist. They're not aqualine. 
no, they're not Aqualine. Uh, so uh, it's not something that I prepare myself for when I go out places in Utah that have bodies of water. It's like something that I think about like intellectually, oh, maybe there'll be mosquitoes, but like I don't do anything about it because <laughs> I, it's just not a thing that I prepare myself for. And it's then, one too many steps to do something about it. <laughs> Yeah, well, and then, like, it's still so hot. Like, it's still, like, 80, 90 degrees at, like, 7 o'clock here. Or even, like, near the water. Like, I don't want to wear pants, but, and a long sleeve shirt, but, but maybe <clears throat> I should. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, in, like, I got a bite right here from wearing, like, a sweatshirt that was, like, the sleeves rolled up a little bit. So, like, I can't even, like, you know, like... <laughs> I can't even, like, I'd have to actually cover all of my ex 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 extremities. I was about to say extrements, but that is not the word. That's something else. That is, that's a Maybe bug thing. spray is the way to go. Yeah. If you found one that was actually effective. Yeah, and not, like, didn't have Horribly toxic. Yeah, that, that were carcinogenic. Car carcinogenic. Me and words stay. <laughs> It's the name of the game. Yeah. Uh, words. Words. It's a thing. Um, well, I would look at, see if we had, uh, maybe it's back. Our site is down, or was down this morning when I tried to get into it. Uh, so I have no Our idea. site was? Yeah, so I have no idea if we have uh, uh, questions this week. Let's, I bet it crashed because there were just too many questions. Yeah, I'm sure it's all the all the traffic uh, from from all of our visitors <clears throat> chiming in about what pattern they would want to live in. Yes, the rest of their days. The rest of their days. Uh, um, so that's so weird that it was down. It appears to be probably still down. Really? Yeah. It's loading for me, Chris. Are you sure you have an internet connection right now? Well, I'm talking to you, and you are on the internet. I... Yes, it says... No, it loaded for me. Oh, maybe it's... See, maybe Chris it's is me. offline. It's me. <laughs> but maybe it's... I don't know. Who knows maybe how the internet cached. works? Oh, no, I can hit the admin, too. Well, I'm out of ideas. Sorry, Chris. All right, well, if it's me, I, then it's me. It, <clears throat> It's DNS. It. Sure. Okay. Well, you're caching an old IP address, although the IP address hasn't changed. So maybe Cloudflare sees you as a uh, existential threat. Existential <laughs> threat. Yes. Here's a weird thing. question. What's the biggest multi-site you know of that exists other than WordPress.org? Um. Or I work on one that's about a thousand. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, we built a site that um, I don't even know how many it has. It's a ridiculous number. Well, I, I, actually, it didn't, it didn't have a ridiculous number, but it has the potential of having a ridiculous number because the point right. of the site was that it was for uh, real estate agents. It's a um, site for, I think... I think in Japan uh, for real estate agents and um, the sites themselves are generated uh, by their um, uh, REST API. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, the idea is that as an agent going through their thing, you automatically can get a site that has all of your listings um, for all the houses that you're selling. And like it's, it's all pre-populated through the, through the API. Um, so a new site on the network is added anytime there's a new account and they have like free accounts and they have premium accounts. So you get like certain features uh, for free and then you have, you have to pay for other things. You like you pay for customization and that sort of stuff. Um, and so like, it just, I mean, it'll, it'll like, you could have spam sites that have like listings and shit. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's ridiculous. You can, it's has the potential to like blow up. Uh, um, I know that there is that uh, there is the, the edu blogs network um 
whatever that group is um, that was really big in the um, WPMU uh, development has a network that's that's quite large, but I don't know exactly how large. Yeah. I actually said a thousand. There's actually one that I work on that is like three multi-site installs that are uh, one's ten, one's three, and one's like two and a half. So I guess ten. Cool. But I don't know. Like, I feel like multi-site is a weird, is often applied as a weird solution. You know, um, I don't know. Where like a multi-tenancy single site you know, cluster of single sites would be better. Mm. Did we figure out? We did not. We did not. So we should talk okay. about uh, Aqualine. I just was jumping to questions because uh, we were getting close to that time and I was filling space. Um, okay. Aqualine. It is relating to or resembling an eagle or curving like an eagle's beak. I did say it was about, it was a shape, a shape of and something. It was kind of aerodynamic. So that, nah, I never knew what that was. Never heard that word before in my life. It's usually, Wonder what I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually referred to, it's usually used to describe someone's nose in particular. Okay. So I never knew that it was related to. <laughs> it's a polite way of saying beak. Like, I, I never, like I a never really knew. Roman nose. <laughs> right. Yeah. I never knew that it was relating to eagles. And so aquiline nose makes a fuck of a lot more sense now. Yeah, yeah. You just thought like aerodynamic. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't know what I thought. I, I'm I, sorry, I, guess, I guess I thought. I guess I thought really like narrow, uh, and like flat. But in fact, it probably means kind of the opposite. Kind of means like. Did, did we figure out if we had questions or no? Uh, I still cannot load the site. Uh, so I'll, I have. I'll no log idea. in and see if we have questions. Uh, and probably so we'll be not. Under feedback under feedback yes feedback. and it would be unread yes so no nope wah, wah. Wah, wah. i when here i have a question sure this is i like when do leaves, speaking of getting existential when do leaves um fall like like what's not like the date, but like when, like I, I am seeing leaves falling from trees already and I'm so there's getting nervous. A, there's a time of year known as fall, <laughs> which is <laughs> literally named for the falling of leaves. <laughs> Would you like me to continue? Not really. No. <laughs> Honestly. But I mean, like, <laughs> Wait, I'm, I, I need to know more about this question. Do you mean like why at that point do leaves fall? And like why not um, six weeks from now? Well, I mean, I think the, I think the we, point is that leaves don't fall in Florida because the weather never changes there. Right. No, they do. But like all at once, like in one week, everything goes from green to brown and it's on the ground. Like that's it. Like, boom. like seriously, if you're walking outside, like you need, like, I, I say that it's probably more than a week, but it's quick. Whereas I feel like I'm starting to see the beginnings of that. Is that possible on this date, August the tw the twentieth? Oh shit, we're deep in August. August twentieth. Yes. Like is that? Yes. Is that? That's a okay. This is yes. not so too like, early for this to be happening. There are oh. triggers in the weather. Yes. That basically like tell the tree that they need to prep for something, and so that process starts. I don't know. Like leaves convert sunlight into energy, right? For photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. So they lose a lot of water during that process. And then when they're, they're done, the leaves are done. And then all that energy has to go into like the hibernation winter process. I mean, it depends on the type of tree too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like some trees are just like fine year round. This is, this is why I so like one of the best things about being here is that the yard is completely overgrown and terrible. So I'm spending I mean, like every weekend, like hours, just in my own thoughts, you know, because I, I can't have headphones on or anything. I'm, you know, just out there with like working with my hands with the, well, gloved hands with the trees and bushes and stuff. Did you say gloved hands? I did. <laughs> yeah. All right. Is it be gloved? 
like that. I, I, I would, I would say gloved, but gloved is okay. Now is I'm okay? really... I think it's better. Why did I, why did I just search uh, for gloved hands? This is a weird Google. <laughs> there is some weird clip art out there. <laughs> I actually asked one of the uh, uh, partners at Tribe how often they look at our search history uh, in the midst of a conversation about something very weird. He's like, I don't, and I won't. I don't actually know if I can, but if I can, that's definitely not something I want to be able to do. Yeah, it was, my follow-up was, how can they look at your search history? I think because, I, well, I mean, in this case, like, I think because I'm just always logged in with my work Google account on this computer. Oh. I'm assuming they can look. I don't actually know if they can, nor do I care. I mean, whatever. Because <laughs> they're just going to find stuff like, why do the leaves fall off the trees? <laughs> Why is it called fall? <laughs> yeah, I mean, so... And a lot of WordPress core function search. Yeah. So... Like an embarrassing amount for someone that does this on a daily basis. Like, seriously, at this point. <laughs> there, There's, yeah, I mean, there's a certain time, there's a certain, like, period of time here where the, the leaves sort of, like, we have um, aspens grow in the mountains quite a lot here, uh, which shouldn't be terribly surprising because... Aspens grow in alpine regions, and, and our mountains are pretty alpine. So uh, there's a certain, and so like, and, and because we're so mountainous, uh, yeah. when leaves change color and, and fall from trees is different depending on the altitude. Um, and there's a certain like period of time where we can go, there's, a, there's like a, a drive up the canyon um, where if you catch it on the right week, and I've only caught it there, caught it once, uh, you, you get there when all the alpines are, have changed color and, um, or aspen trees rather, all the aspen trees have changed color and they're all like, like bright, bright yellow. Um, and you walk through, you drive through this, this canyon and like everything is yellow. It's like, like, like bright sun yellow and it's amazing. And I've only, we've only been able to time it. I've only been able to time it once, uh, the right week. Um, because it's different. Like you can't like look at the trees here and ex and anticipate. You have to sort of like know what's going on in the mountains too. Um, but yeah, so we're we're well familiar with the changing of and like yeah, it's different for different trees and and, and it's different for different altitudes and um, but but yeah, the, it, it's not too early, um, especially especially like you said at the top of the show uh, about it being a little bit chilly in the morning. Like if that's yeah. the case, then that's probably. I mean that's 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 the trigger, you know, like when it starts getting cooler. Was that, was that, I think it was before we were, we were recording. So it might've been before, before we were the recording. show started. We were talking about how it's chilly. Prior to the show. <laughs> That's it. They're caught up. That's it. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I had to add something to the conversation. But, but, but yeah, it didn't seem like <laughs> no, sufficient. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. That's the show. Thanks for joining us. I'm really looking forward to seeing the leaves change color here. I yeah. feel like there's a potential that with all these different species that it could be a beautiful show. Yeah, and it would be really interesting to find that, that week, that one period of time where everything is sort of changing at the same time for you. Yeah, I mean, I'll be here, so. <laughs> at least. But I mean, it, it might be different in different areas, too. Like, there might be yeah. places where it has, you know, different types of trees, and it's, it's you know, totally. more or less uh, the, brightly the colored. The really popular tree around here is a crepe myrtle. Everyone has a crepe myrtle on their lawn. And I'm like, oh, we don't have a crepe myrtle. We have this privet tree that looks a lot like a crepe myrtle, but it's not. Uh, but it has beautiful blooms anyway. Um, it's just amazing how like trees put up. In the Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes or Google Play. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at, at @binaryjazz. Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the form on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz.